Hello everyone, I'm here today to talk about our little Tascam DR07 audio recorders. Uh, these are one of the pieces of equipment that we check out here at Peps, and I'm just going to give you a basic how-to with the audio recorder. And then if you want a little bit more in-depth knowledge about how to use you know, external microphones, other things like that, then we can stick around and hear the whole spiel. Uh, but the basics shouldn't take too long. Alright, so let's talk about the Tascam audio recorder. So here we are looking at the Tascam DR07 audio recorder, and I'm just going to run through a couple of things about it. First of all, it has really easy to um, use buttons on the front of it. It has built-in microphones left and right, so it's stereo sound. And on the side here, it has the power button, a hold switch, and over here we have output levels and input levels. Um, there's also a couple of line outs, so you can actually record through this and go out from here into another sort of device, like a sound desk or something. And it has a line in, so we can actually plug in um, high-powered audio into it to record as well. <clears throat> On the very top, there's a mic in. The mic in is um, for putting in external things, and I'll show you a little bit about, more about that in a minute. So let's first turn it on. Uh, if the hold is on, nothing will work on it, so you have to make sure that the hold is off. And then hold the power button down for a couple of seconds. And it does a cool little starty up thingy, and wow, there we go. With the music, with the um, audio recorder, things come with it, obviously. Uh, this is Peps, we have stuff. Um, there's a couple of different things. There's actually something here. There is an in-ear microphone. Uh, what these are for is if you want to do a phone interview and you want to actually record using your cell phone and talking to someone over the air, um, you can use the in-ear microphone to do that. So that's one of those little things we add in here to it. Um, with all of our audio recorders, of course, we have headphones so that once you've done the interview, you can actually listen back and make sure that everything went okay before you worry about getting it onto your computer. How do you get it on the computer, you might ask? Well, there we go. We have a USB cable that's included. Uh, to plug it into the computer, what you'd be doing is opening up a little door on the side here. It's never very easy to do. And you'll see that there's actually a little jack here. You plug in your USB cable and plug this end into your computer. Uh, make sure that this is actually powered down first. When you plug it in, it should automatically power up and become a little hard drive on your computer. Um, so that's all there is to it. In addition to these things that come with it, there is actually a very big, oh, I better, let's turn off the audio recorder before I take out the SD card because that would be bad. Um, in the side here too, you'll notice there's an SD card. Um, in our audio recorders, we only include two gigabytes because frankly, that's a big enough chip for most of uh, anything you can do recording with audio. Um, we do have bigger choices if you're going to be doing a lot of audio recording and you want it all in one SD card. Um, just let a PEPS student know that you want to do that and we'll swap it out and we'll make sure that it has the right stuff in it. I'm going to put this back in now because I want to talk about the, um, the, how to use this audio recorder. So, I'm going to turn it back on again. Um, this is actually not a... Uh, this is a typical battery, so it's just double A batteries. It takes double A's in the back here, two of them. Included with all of our gear, we always try to like be nice, and so we actually then throw in two more double A batteries just in case, and of course the case. Um, on the case is the bag tag saying what everything is, how much it costs, and what you're responsible for when you check it out from Peps. So all of these things, oops, I better get more into the middle. There you can see all the stuff. Um, these audio recorders are about, worth about 180 bucks, and all the little bits around them um, are also money, so just don't lose it. Uh, be careful. All right, so let's talk about recording. Right now, it's defaulted to no music file. I'll move all this out of the way. <clears throat> so it actually says no music file. That's because there's nothing on this SD card. It's completely empty. And if you want to start recording something, all you have to do is hit record once. You'll notice it's flashing. When it's flashing, it's not actually recording. This is just giving you line levels so you can see just how loud you're being. You actually want the audio to be right about where it's hitting. That's first zero and the zero, zero. And if it's not there, that's when you would actually turn up the levels over here. So if I turn that all the way down to zero, you'll notice that nothing's happening whatsoever on the thing. There's no, no sound whatsoever. But if I turn it up to six, then now it actually has some pretty good audio, but it still looks a little bit quiet to me because it's only hitting about halfway. You actually want it to try to hit it somewhere around the two-thirds of the way, and now you can see that I'm actually hitting two-thirds of the way. Now, if someone's really loud, you might want to turn this down because you don't want it to hit all the way up at the top. 
If it hits at the top, that's actually called peaking, and that'll make a sound on your audio, and you don't want that. So you want to make sure it stays around the two-thirds area. Once you're there and you know that it's about two-thirds and everything's going to be happy, then you push record one more time, and you'll notice that now it's a solid red, and it's just recording. So it's making a file right now. Um, it should be set to MP3 and at 44.1. I'll talk about that during the advanced stuff. Um, but just for your knowledge, you don't need to worry about it. This is recording in MP3 as we speak, and it's already done. To stop recording, you can either hit stop home, or you can hit record again, but you'll notice it's flashing. That's because that's a pause. So if somebody says, well, hold on for a minute, you can pause the recording, talk about what's bothering your interviewee, and make sure that everything's okay, and then you can start up the recording again just where you left off. So that's why there's that, little, that nice little pause feature. When you are completely done though, and you're all set, and you want to actually just have this be an MP3 file, hit stop home, and it'll stop, it'll write the, fold, the file, and there you go. You have your first MP3 uh, ready to go. So that's the quick and dirty about how to use the Tascam audio recorder. If you stick around, I'll go through a couple of more things. Wow, you stuck around. Okay, fair enough. So let's talk a little bit about that in-ear microphone thing. Um, included with this little device is an in-ear microphone. What is this for? Well, if you're using your cell phone or even a landline to record a conversation with somebody that's far away from you, you need to use something like this in order to record their voice into the audio recorder. Uh, in order to use this, you're going to put it in the mic in on the top, and you're going to put this into your ear. Make sure when you put this in your ear that you are using that ear for the recording. Ha, huh, you, you laugh now, but you have no idea how many people have put this in their ear, and because it feels funny, they actually end up holding the phone to the opposite ear and not using this microphone. That would be bad, so make sure that this is in your ear and your phone is here too, otherwise it won't record things properly. Um, in order to make sure that everything's going to work, however, we have to go into the menu and make sure the settings are correct for actually using that, and it has a real pretty simple... Um, scroll wheel thing, push the play to actually go in there, and you'll notice that the input, input is mic, that's good, that's what we want. There's mic and line, we talked about that later, line in is here, mic in is here, so you just want to make sure that this is actually set to mic, otherwise it won't use the right thing. There's a lot of other things under the um, Mic, there's gain, how loud, how loud it is, uh, type, stereo, it's going to be a stereo sound. Um, power, you can actually power a microphone, that's for special kind of microphones, um, and all sorts of other things. So that's what is in that menu. Record setting is another place you want to look. Oops. Format, this is where you can change the format of things. So right now it's set for MP3, um, and we can actually change that to different kilobits, meaning higher and higher quality MP3 files. That's great. You'll notice that the time changes, however, because if it's a higher quality, it'll take up more room. If I choose the record setting and go down to sample, I can change it to 44 to 48K. 48 is actually used for video, whereas 44.1 is used for regular audio. If this is going to be an audio CD, you want it to be 44.1. If you're going to make a video, you're going to want it to be 48, um, and that will actually make sure that everything is happy. If I go back into the record settings again, um, size is to say how big the card is, and a whole bunch of other prereq and delays, we can just ignore those settings. Um, you'll notice that with a 2 gigabyte card, you have 23 hours and 59 minutes at the standard MP3 setting. I'm actually going to go here and change that back to 44.1 because that's generally what people record at for audio sound. There's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Date and time is a good thing to set the date and the time to make sure it's for the right time. Obviously, it's not the year 2000 right now. Um, because if you're, especially if you're doing a lot of different interviews, having a date and a timestamp on the file itself will be really helpful for your um, metadata, as they would call it. Uh, just making sure you have all the right information, who, who you interviewed, when you interviewed them, and what they were interviewed about. That'll help you kind of keep that in your head. Um, and 
There's other, all sorts of, there's playlists. It, it actually works as an MP3 player as well. You can put MP3s on here and listen to it if you want to. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing that because these are really, really horrible um, headphones and frankly, most of you probably have iPods or other MP3 players already. Uh, now we've talked a little bit about some of those kind of settings in there. I do just want to jump back into this area and talk about some of the other cool stuff we have at PEPS. Um, let's say you're shooting a video. When you're using this audio recorder, you might want to use some other kind of accessories. We have a lot of different choices in microphones that will make, uh, depending on what job you're doing, if you're shooting a film or doing a formal interview or whatever, maybe these mics won't do it for you. Uh, well, we have plenty of other choices. We have things like this, a big condenser microphone. It's a shotgun. It's used for video work. We also have mics like this, little SM58 vocal mics. Um, these are great things you can plug into these. You grab yourself the proper kind of cable with the proper kind of adapter. Make sure that your settings on this are the mic settings. Plug in to the mic in on top and make sure that your a condenser mic actually has power. It has a battery inside of it. You want to make sure that the battery is fresh. Make sure Peps has put a new battery in for you. You're going to turn that microphone on and then we're going to do a little test. Let's see if this actually works. Remember to do that. We actually have to push record once to get it flashing and then it's going to actually give us what our line levels are. And sure enough, that's a really good line level. That's because it's a shotgun mic. And you'll see that I'm peeking right now because I'm talking into the front of it. So um, that's pretty good, Mike. Uh, then there's also these little vocal mics work. If I just unplug this one and plug in this one. Vocal mics don't actually need to have power because they are not um, condensers. These are just regular ones. So these have to be close to your mouth. So just make sure you move it really close to your mouth when you're talking into it and everything should be fine. You'll notice it's doing pretty well there, even pointed away from me. If I talk into it though, it looks really good. So that's kind of how those things work. So that's basically it. That's the extra stuff we have that we can do with this. Um, if you have any more questions about the Tascam DR07 audio recorder, please stop by PEPS at the White Center for Creativity in the Idea Lab and at Carleton College. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye-bye.